Abel Korzanowski, an Emmy-nominated composer whose new project is the drama Till from director uh, Shinoye Chukwu, which tells the story of the murder of Emmett Till through the perspective of his mother, Mamie. I, I, this, the music in this movie took me by surprise. I don't actually even know what I was expecting, but I just found it immediately compelling. There's such an urgency to the score from the start. I, so what were your conversations with uh, Chinoye about like, and how you wanted to approach uh, this score? Thank you. Uh, Chinoye had uh, basically two uh, requests regarding the how, how the score sh should, should work. First, she told me no sentimentality and, you know, absolutely we're not going to score that there is a, a sad moment and, you know, we, we don't need to tell people that. And the, the second point was that we're not really scoring the objective re reality. So it's not about, again, what we see. It's always about uh, emotions, about shifting changes in inside of the characters, especially uh, inside of Mamie, as so sometimes music was actually given a role to show a shift really dramatically, like in the in the same scene where, where Mamie is uh, uh, when she sees Emmett's body and she kind of touches touches him and and sees sees him recognizes him with her hands and 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 she weeps and and then there is this point where we actually indicate the shift in her uh with music and this is where she turns her grief into into anger into will to do something more yeah, it's an incredible moment. And a lot of that is like, obviously, the story coming, uh, telling maybe he's like, uh, you know, evolu dealing with her grief and then ev evolution into a civil rights uh, hero and, and leader. It's, it's, in yeah. it's incredible stuff. Where did you, I guess, when you have that kind of performance, like in the character, like maybe, and you have this incredible performance, like like Danielle Detweiler is giving in the movie, how much does that affect, like, how are you playing off of that as the composer, I guess? Are you like, does that influence, do you, when you see that performance, does that help you, you know, give you different ideas about where the music could go as well, I guess. It's close to 100% coming from from the characters and especially having someone uh, like Danielle having such a wide array of what she's capable of showing on her face. And not only that, also, uh, it's also about hinting certain emotions that she uh, she doesn't need to to overplay, right? She's she can be v very economic with uh, with how much she does, and it, it it varies from from something very subtle to this incredible cry when when the coffin arrives, right? So uh, basically, watching her was giving all the all the clues that that music needed and uh and there are many scenes where we don't have score at all like in in the uh, testimony scene uh just because there there was nothing to to score there you know we again we we didn't want to uh get into uh just being a kind of wallpaper in the background, just uh, do, doing something similar to to what we see on the screen. So uh, m many uh, scenes are left completely silent, and and to give out more space to to play with music where we need it to to extend. Yeah, I, I want to ask you this too. Uh, so obviously, the film starts in in Chicago, and then obviously goes down to Mississippi, and then that's where the trial is, and that's obviously where Emmett was murdered. Uh, do you did you differentiate like how you wanted those 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 the state like how the score should sound when they're in Chicago versus how it would sound in Mississippi? And how did you guys talk about that? It, not in terms of uh, geography, uh, because everything connected to to the culture, to the to the region, to the period was addressed with uh, uh, with songs. Right, we, we we have really great songs that also have some dramatic meaning in there. Uh, 
but we we really fo focus with uh, starting from a beautiful life, you know, and uh, ful fulfilled life and full of full of love and and just you know r really something something precious that we uh, we we all w w would love to have something like this or we can relate to it and uh we started with Emmett being kind of uh not fully aware of the dangers and you know being basically a, a young boy still a child on on the verge of of becoming a man and we th th there's this crucial scene when, when when he's on the on the train and and there is a moment where uh the black passengers are asked to move to the end of the train and this is the uh the boundary of the uh, this is the state line and we're entering jim crow's area so this is incredibly poignant but at the same time with with music we just follow his state of mind he's you know he's kind of he understands what, what what's going on but it doesn't get to him fully, you know. He is kind of uh, he has this innocence uh, and certain uh, unawareness, and uh, and obviously th there is beauty in this, but there is also incredible danger uh, with the uh, country where he that he enters. Sure. Did you? Is it? As a composer, is it hard to like, I mean, like talking about that, like that, that subtle, like the innocence and that, like, it's just so ephemeral, I feel like. And so, you know, and obviously uh, the performance there is uh, Jalen Hill's performance as Emmett is incredible as well. Is it hard to like capture that in the score, I guess, like, or the subtleties of that innocence? Like how much of that is like, how much you have to work to like make that feel as natural as the performance, I guess, you know what I mean? In the music. Yeah. Well, in fact, this was uh, this very scene was uh, probably the most difficult in the whole movie. I tried to start the writing the score for, from this, and and I failed. I I couldn't crack. You know how, how wh wh what should I uh, connect with? Because on on one end we have we have a boy going on an adventure. This he's you know he's not uh, doing something that he di uh, didn't want. This was his idea. You know he he wanted to spend uh, time with his relatives and cousins. So we have this innocence going on a trip vibe, but then at the same time we have this incredibly poignant moment of. Of moving the the black passengers to the to the back of the train, we have a shot of beautifully shot cotton field with with again uh, black workers on, on the field. So the image was so incredibly packed in meaning and uh, you know different emotions that you know I I couldn't go to too happy because it's you know. We, we have these other other tones and and uh, so i i remember that i uh, i really felt at the at the beginning uh, with the scene and i had to uh, s uh, work on other scenes and then come back to it uh, but it's um, it's all about this balance yeah, you're really walking a, a tightrope there. It feels like you know. Of yes. course. Do you, uh, last one here. I mean, so like you know, it gives you that like not not a lot of sentimentality and stuff. Like, what were your conversations like throughout the the project then, and how did you guys collaborate? You know, to make sure that you were hitting those marks. I guess. Yeah, we we spent a lot of time on on Zoom, and uh, obviously, and uh, well. Uh, this was one of the reasons that 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 she wanted me to score the film that she thought that that my music in generally has this kind of quality that it's not it's not sentimental but it it, it has certain complexity that that she was looking for and uh, you know 
this this picture has so many emotions in it uh the anger the guilt uh being uh being crushed you know finding light uh the mother's love so uh there were so many things to do that in a way um not uh we really didn't need sentiment mentality. We we had so much more uh, going on. Yeah, it, it's an incredible score and and just another great one from you. I'm a huge fan of your work. Abel uh, Krasnowski, uh, composer of Till. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you very much.